Hey, you kids. Get off my lawn. All right. Today, we're going to talk about something a little bit different. I think if you remember, if you ever tuned into the first Cranky's Corner, I said we were going to talk a lot about music, but I also said we were going to talk about anything that makes this old man's life a little bit easier. And I found such a thing. That's right. There's one thing that's always that Cranky's always liked. Video games. And there's two things about video games you need to know about when it comes to me. One, I really like them. Two, I absolutely suck at them. That's right. I'm no good at a video game. You know, complicated controls, complicated setups, not good at them, but I like them. And if I could find one simple enough, I'll play it and I'll play it forever. I found a simple game that's really, really cool that I can play. Y'all are going to laugh, but I love the game. It's a great game. And if you don't believe me, just go on YouTube and watch it for a little bit. You'll get addicted to it, too. You'll want to go buy a system so you can play it. Anyway, I digress. This is what I bought. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. That's right. That's right. The cranky old man went out and bought himself a Switch. Not just any Switch, he went and bought the Switch OLED, the new one. Now, I lived with it for a while. I got to kick the tires on it, got to try a few things, played a few games. Um, had it in the dock. And I loved it. What I like about it? Well, first, I liked how easy it was to operate. I mean, straight out of the box, it was easy. Setup was easy. And I'm not just talking physical setup with the wires. I'm talking, you know, the stuff us less technically savvy guys have problems with. You know, hooking it up to the internet, pairing it up with the controllers, getting it to run properly. This was easy. This is like they made it for either somebody who's learning to be tech savvy or somebody who's never going to be tech savvy. I love it. The menu interface is great. Everything's easy to find. You're not playing with stuff. I really like it. And it's nice and light. I can take it with me. Say I'm playing a game. Oh, oh, th this is the cool part. I got to show you this. All right. You turn it on, right? You wake it up. Okay. You can see the menus, right? Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see the TV real good behind me, but watch what happens when I put it in. You gotta give it a second, but. Is it gonna make a liar out of me that I put it in the, the dock, All right? Here it is. See? That screen is all of a sudden up here. And I can play the game off the TV. Now say I'm playing the game off the TV and sensible wife wants to go shopping and doesn't want to leave me home unsupervised so she wants to stick me in the car. Look, TV shuts right off and the game starts up right here like I never left it. It's great. But I know what you're saying. You're saying, Cranky, 
how are you playing a game on the TV if it's in the dark? These separate. The controllers separate. There's two of them. You can plug them into this. And you can have one complete controller, or for some games, you can separate it. If you have any friends, which I don't, but if I did, I could give my friend one, and we could play a two-player game. And again, that would only obviously work for certain games. Now, can't really speak to how difficult the games are, because I don't have very many of them. But I can speak for the system, and I really like the system. It also has this new OLED, it has a stand. See the stand? I don't know if you can see that stand or not. But you can pull that stand out, and it stands, it's secure, and you can get all sorts of different angles on it. And the memory card goes right back there. That's right, you can get a memory card so you can download games. This comes with a 64 gig internal memory. And a memory card, God, I got this one for, I think $25, $30. And it was 256 gig. It'll hold a few games. And it, not just get a bigger memory card or another memory card you don't have to buy the first person memory card it says nintendo on it those are expensive you can get a, a third party i got a samsung you know just make sure you get one with a high read speed because that's apparently it's got to read the game i learned that offline not nothing i experienced anyway i've got A few games for it. Um, got this. Got Animal Crossing. I play it every day. It's, it's a cool game. I'm telling you, that's the game that made me want to buy one of these. Um, go check out that. Go check out a video on it. Um, the next one I got, I got a Collection of Mana, which is three Chronicles of Mana games. And that was kind of a nostalgia purpose. I mean, nostalgia purchase purpose, right? Um, never played them before. Never played the other two. But the first one I did play, never knew it was a, a Chronicles of Mana game. Or Quest for Mana. Because I played it decades ago on the Game Boy. And it was called Final Fantasy Adventure. So the first one's called Final Fantasy Adventure. Unless, you know, unless you play the UK version. Then it's the proper title. And then there's the other two games. But I'm really enjoying that. Simple to operate. Lots of fun. There's only a few things I don't like about it. And I, I'm wishing they would correct it. One, I guess I can give them a pass on because they've only been around five years. They don't really have any decent hockey games. I was looking for an EA Sports hockey game. They don't make them. So I'm hoping like more major third-party players get on board with Nintendo. Because right now, I mean, they've got, a, they've got a pretty good library, but nowhere near Xbox or PlayStation. And um, I'd like to see some of those Xbox and PlayStation guys go in with this. The second thing I'm not too thrilled with is the size of the game. I mean, look at this. Look at how big that is. 
That's just a tiny little game. There's a lot of information in that game. But if you're not careful, you're gonna th you're gonna lose that game. I mean, you just snap one of these things open real quick looking for a game. It's gonna fly across the room. I've already had that happen once. And I had to find it before the vacuum cleaner did. I was real lucky that I did. I mean, look at this. Just a little quick size comparison. This was that Game Boy game I was showing you earlier. Look, it takes four games to equal the size of one Game Boy game. That's, you know, that's technology moving forward for you folks. So, maybe they could find like some way that, you know, us old guys can locate our games if we accidentally drop them or lose them because we don't see very well something for you to work on nintendo you found some way to make um you know if, if you lose your controllers you can press the find my look find my uh find my controller button and your controllers will vibrate until you find them yeah that's another thing speaking of speaking of pressing stuff this is even a touch screen. This is a touch screen, which is really nice. I mean, it works for certain games. Some games it doesn't, but it is. Now, one of the things, another thing that I don't like about this that I wish they did do, and maybe they'll do it in the future. Because it's the ability to watch movies. I'd like to be able to download and watch movies with this thing. That would be nice. I mean, you can do, um, you can do YouTube. You can watch YouTube and... You know, one of the cheap workarounds to watch movies on it is if you've got like a streaming account with like Vudu or, um, you know, so some other service. If you can link it to your Google Play, it'll show up on you. Some of the movies that you have will show up on YouTube. My entire video library didn't. But a good bit of it did. About a third of it. But I'd like to see that improve. I'd like to see something happen where you can stream movies on it. Because, you know, I'm old. I don't want to play video games all the time. Some days I want to sit in the lunchroom and just chill with a good old movie. And that's basically it. I really love this thing. And I think you should buy one. As a matter of fact... I think everybody should buy one. The Switch OLED. It was three fifty. It was the best three fifty you'll ever spend. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, before I before I leave, I wanted to show you something else. I got tired of taking the controllers out and you know putting them in the little thing. Yeah, I know, I know. They call them Joy Con. They call these things, instead of calling them controllers, they call them Joy-Cons. I, I refuse to call them Joy-Cons. You know, they're tiny, they vibrate. Joy-Con sounds like something some little pervert's going to go take into his room for a little bit of me time. Yeah, I'm not calling them Joy-Cons. They're controllers in my house. Anyway, I went out and I started hunting around because I got tired of taking those things out after a couple of weeks. Every night taking them out, loading them up in this thing, playing, taking them out of this thing, putting them back in the dock so they'll charge. So I went and I got... 
Not one of these. I started looking online. They had the 8-bit dough Bluetooth controller. It's for a PC, but it's also compatible with a Switch. Again, I was impressed with how easily compatible that things were with this. It hooked up, it synced. Now when I come home, I throw the Switch in the dock, the game comes up, and I play my video game with that controller. That controller automatically syncs up. No problems. The only thing it won't do is wake the system. I gotta come over here and push a button if I wanna play. Just to wake it up if it's asleep. And that's really just about it. I just wanted to share my new toy. Show people what I was up to these days. And encourage anybody who hasn't played a video game or wants to play a video game or was like me, was kind of scared away from video games. Well, yeah, I was scared away from them for a while. I'll tell you, I bought a PS4. I bought a PlayStation 4 because, again, wanted to play video games. But the games were complicated. The system was complicated. Hell, the day I brought home the system, first day with the system, I brought it home, I set it up, it took me 30 minutes to figure out how to turn it on, I got it turned on, first thing the damn thing wanted to do was update, so I bought it, but I didn't get to play, any, play it until the next day, so the next day, I went and I put in a game. Because I bought two or three games. The game had to update. Let, let me tell you. By the time the game finished updating. I didn't want to play a game anymore. I wanted to take a nap. You know. So yeah. The complications. And the. the, the it, it, it scared me away from games for a while. But this, this kind of this, this kind of brought my faith back a little bit. This is easy enough for me to operate. I'm not a techno guy, as you can obviously tell. All right. So anyway, Nintendo Switch, run out, get it. Animal Crossing, go to YouTube, look for some Animal Crossing videos, you know, some walkthroughs. I guarantee you. You'll love it. You'll be an addict just like me. Until next time, my children, always stay cranky.